made your de- Borough debut against Newcastle. Uh, and in the first five minutes, she went in hard on Alan Shearer, who stood all over and got up and gave him dog abuse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was only 17 at the time, so I just had to try and get in and mix it up a bit. But I remember the day, actually, I was stood in the tunnel and he came out last, Alan Shearer, and he was, he was putting his tap on as he walked down the tunnel. And it was a bit like, Alan Shearer's here, you know, I was only 17. And um, it just, I just collided with him in five minutes and managed to come out on top somehow, I don't know, and uh, it just got me in the game, you know, and I think that's sometimes what helps in, in a game you want, you, you, I think you want to stamp your mark on the game early doors, in any game you're playing, I think um, if you can come out and get the upper hand early, early doors, I think it sort of sets, sets, sets the levels and sets the, stand, uh, the standard for the game, and I think if we can, um, if, if you can get in and make a challenge in the first five, ten minutes, it's, it's brilliant, it just settles you down and just, you find your feet a bit in the game. To be honest, I, I feel most, most comfortable as when in, in the dressing room, knowing what I've got around me when we're going into a derby, because I feel like the lads know what it's all about, they know the importance of it. So I feel like I don't need to get into people before the game. But the only time I felt maybe like that was after the 5 1, we went back then. I think I got booked in 50 seconds or something, because yeah, yeah. I felt we ain't going to we ain't gonna wait before we start. You know what I mean? Yeah. We need to start this game. And then I remember Martin O'Neill shouting to Bardo to tell him to tell me to calm down. And I was like, as cool as anybody at that point, because I was like, I knew exactly what I was doing. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. In my head all week, I felt I wanted to start the game in that in that manner, and yeah, obviously, it was a good performance on the day. I think from, from the lads, yeah. anyway. I think when you you're in the the roles we are like, or the the sort of players we were, um, what our class is competitive to the extreme. Just we all loved winning, didn't we? And we knew that what we had to do was do everything we could to win a game of football, and whether it be tackling or whatever, you've done it. And the, the hardest part, though, is when you go into the derby game, is looking for that first tackle, is wanting that first opportunity to know it's a 50-50, 60-40 against or whatever, and knowing you can lay your marker down. The hardest part is when you go looking for it and you end up, like you say, it's, you could be in a situation where you tackle someone, get booked, and you think, was it worth it? Yeah, exactly. I just wanted to do something. And the longer that goes in the derby game, I would... I'd have probably said some people might go, oh, they'll, they'll be happy. I'd be, I'd be, where is it? I want that tackle. I want that challenge, whether it be in the air or anything like that. And, and it is good. And sometimes the big tackle doesn't always fall to the people you hope it does. And, and this is where if it falls to someone that's not associated with that style of play and he does something, and I'm telling you categorically, it's one of those you go, oh, my God, like that. That can possibly, and I'm being honest with you, be even better than somebody like myself or Lee doing it because you, it's unexpected. You see them do it and you think, he's up for it. It makes you go up. It makes the crowd go up. So it's not always necessarily down to us, is it? And I've seen that and you just think, go on, mate, like that. And I, it, it, I'm getting buzzy now. I've had to go out and play 90 minutes in a minute. If I look back, when we were at Roker Park, obviously the ground was smaller. It was what you would class as a proper, nice, lovely, old-fashioned football ground that smelt of football, the atmosphere. Walk into it was like you remember as a kid. Um, I still feel the feeling's the same. The, the desire to win it, whether it's a player or a supporter, is exactly the same. The build-up to it's the same. It's just probably now on a grander, wider scale. Yeah. I think it's a great day. And I, I honestly believe when the fixtures come out, you could, you could have all your other big teams, so to speak, but they're the two games you look to, no matter what. And I think it's evolved bigger, better. I think the fact that, especially at both grounds, there's such big grounds now, hold so many people, the, the noise that reverberates around the ground is, is, is awesome. And, and when you're winning a game, and, I, and I've been through there and played in it and won it, and I've been through there and been a supporter watching Lee play, and we've won it, and I'm sitting in whatever area we are at the time and I realise where I am and I realise I can't like get too carried away but then it gets the better of you and I found myself standing up and screaming like you know and you can't help it, it just gets to you.